Even in the stock market, Friday was the most turbulent trading day of 2017. We saw a 400 point swing from from top to bottom on the Dow. This morning, the direction is clearly up. Futures flying over 200 points after the Senate passes a tax reform bill late Friday night. Melissa Armo, owner of the stock Swoosh, and Doug Flynn, a certified financial planner and the co-founder of Flynn Zito Capital Management, join us now to discuss ladies first. Melissa, obviously <laughs> investors want to see tax reform. Yes, they definitely do. You could call this the tax reform rally. It's almost like a tax reform fever that's happening in the market. If you look from the last nine days of trading up through Friday, the markets had a 3% move up, <clears throat> almost <throat> vertical. And if we open near the highs this morning, we're probably going to rally again today. Yeah, but there's a but in there, Doug, and the but is Russia. You saw what happened to the market, the nosedive that happened yeah. on Friday on the Brian Ross report, which was ultimately a fake report about the Trump campaign trying to influence the, the election. Can the, the Russian narrative really affect the sustainability of this rally? No, it cannot. It, there's too many good things about the fundamentals, personal spending, consumer confidence, uh, I think the tax break is an additional boost that will only make things even better. It has only been priced in maybe a little bit, and that's starting to work its way in if we do get it. But no, I think there's going to be some short-term things. Those are, those are noise that will take down the market in the short run. We haven't had a correction in a while. We certainly even had a 3% move, so that might even be healthy. That's all that kind of uh, information would do. But you can't get away from the fundamentals or off of the, mm -hmm. the fact that the fundamentals are still sound and they're actually getting better with increased earnings outlooks. Melissa, why are investors rotating out of technology stocks on Friday? Yes, we did have a turbulent day, but I mean, high flyers of the year, Facebook, Netflix, they were down over 4%. What do you make of that rotation? I really don't think that's a big deal overall. I think it just comes from profit taking. And we really don't know what's going to happen with the tax plan. Again, they're trying to pass it before the end of 2017. But I think a big factor in how stocks and the market are going to take effect as far as whether or not people are going to take profits now, because remember, people are up. So that was just profit taking that you saw on last week and Thursday mm -hmm. um, into the close and then Friday. But bottom line is that They've got to pass this plan, not only by the end of the year to continue this rally up into 2018, but also the corporate tax breaks. I think they have to start those in 2018. And there's mm. a differentiation between the House plan and the Senate plan, whether they're going to start in 2018 or 2019. Right. And I think that is going to make a big difference as far as where people are going to take profits. Right. You might have a Christmas rally. You might not have a Christmas rally. The next two weeks are going to be really significant for the market. But I'll say one quick thing, and Doug will probably agree with me with this because of what he does. There's, there's something called the wealth effect. When people see their stock portfolios rising, even though they haven't taken the profits out yet, when they see them, they feel better. And that's why you see an increase in holiday spending right now, too. People are feeling like they're wealthier. So, so more really gifts exciting. under the Christmas tree, Doug? That's what <laughs> Melissa is saying. Yeah, I agree. I, I actually do agree, Melissa. It's true. And uh, Lauren, I think a lot of this is the fact that tech is up 37 percent year to date. The overall market's of about 20. You know, there is going to be some profit taking, although most people are going to wait until January, maybe to the new tax year. Hopefully they'll get a break and they'll take some profits then for the capital gains. But you do have some rotation here and there into things like value stocks, which are only up about 13 percent. And we say only, we'd be happy with a double digit return, but that's underperformed the market. So some of those sectors and areas, you will see a rotation out. I don't think tech is over. It's still a very uh, reasonable percentage of the S&P, unlike in the year 2000 when it was very, very oversized in, inside the S&P and the NASDAQ. Yeah. So uh, th things are looking good all around, I and think. And rotation into financials, into industrials, obvious winners of a tax reform bill. Not to mention, we have seen over $66 billion from overseas investors come into the U.S. stock market this year alone. We have to leave it there, though. <laughs> Melissa, Doug, love the perspective this morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for having me.